There are a lot of theories that Bitcoin is going to explode the rest of the year. There's also a lot of theories that Bitcoin is going to plummet the rest of the year. As we both know, Bitcoin loves to surprise everybody. And usually the high majority end up being completely wrong about Bitcoin. And on today's video, I'm going to share with you a critical, critical secret that's in the chart that's unveiling itself right at the bottom of your screen. Every six months, Bitcoin has this critical stochastic RSI cross right on schedule for the past couple years every six months. And guess what? Another one is coming and that is going to be the key secret to win precisely. Bitcoin is going to have a large move to the upside. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Steve. On this channel, we do it different and you're going to love it here. We base it all on the facts and the charts. Hit that subscribe button right now. At the end of the video, I'm also going to share some very very significant insight on my life that I believe is going to help you immensely. Now, we're going to start right here. Every six months, right on schedule, Bitcoin has this beautiful stochastic RSI cross on the weekly, right? The stochastic RSI is really about momentum. There's a fast line right here, and then there's a slow line right here. In between the two of them, you look for these crosses that come out below the 20 and cross above the 20, signaling to the market a major shift in momentum. Case in point, we were rallying from this high and we plummeted all the way down by 50% and prices were struggling and they were going slow and everything was boring and methodical and why aren't prices rising? Why aren't my favorite altcoins rising? What's happening? And then we have this little stochastic RSI cross right on schedule every six months and that is what exploded prices more than 50% altcoins absolutely exploded. The market was on fire and it all started right here with a stochastic RSI cross. Now, if that, if you don't understand the significance, well, precisely six months later, we had another one. And then six months later, we had another one. And then six months later, we had our most recent one, which we covered right here on our channel. We had the most recent stochastic RSI cross when Bitcoin was at about 15 and a half K, 16 K. We covered it right here on our channel. We also had incredibly strong bullish divergence forming at precisely the same time. And right here on our channel, we said, look, the stochastic RSI cross just happened. It happens every six months. It's nothing to play with. And we said right here on our channel, don't be surprised if we rally all the way to this top red line, which at the time it seemed absurd because every human that's in crypto was saying that we were going way, 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 way lower. Bitcoin loves to surprise everybody. And the only way to stay level headed is to truly look at the facts, not what you hope is gonna happen, not what everyone's saying is gonna happen, not what all the media is saying. It's it's only what the facts are saying. If you can clear out all the noise and you can be so disciplined and focus only on the facts, it's gonna lead you to substantially more success. What's very interesting is our last stochastic RSI cross happened at the end of November. Now keep in mind, these things come usually every six months. So we're getting real close to having another one. Now, right now the market's going sideways. Right now the market is relatively boring. Right now everybody's wondering, hey, when are my favorite altcoins gonna explode? When is Bitcoin gonna get some momentum? When is this, when it, I'll tell you when. It's when we have a stochastic RSI cross, right? What we need right now is for our stochastic RSI to continue dropping, right? And drop below this 20 level. And then we'll talk about when, but we're going to have a stochastic RSI cross and that's when momentum comes into the market and that's when things are really going to start to move. Another cool thing, when you start to look at timing, I wanna compare this fractal pattern of coming out of a bear market into a bull. Take a look at this peak right here to this peak right here. We're about to measure the days and then we're gonna look at this peak right here to this peak right here and see if there are any similarities. Because our past cycle when we're at our top, when the market was hot, was about 77 days. If you look on your screen, right? 77 days from the peak here to the peak here, 77. And we look at present day, the peak here to the peak here, 77. Meaning we spent 77 days with the market hot and then we came back down. We had a stochastic RSI cross. That's precisely what we're doing now. 77 days with the market hot from peak to peak, precisely accurate. And every six months we're scheduled for another one. So after 77 days, we're looking for this to come back down. We're losing our momentum and we're gonna have a cross down here. What needs to happen in an ideal world is while we're having 
a loss of momentum in, in a very large way if Bitcoin could still hold support on this red line, which is the 200 week moving average, what happens to be the most substantial moving average in entire crypto history. Every single bear market, bottom one, two, happened right here in the 200 week. 2018, 200 week. COVID crash, 200 week. Our first bottom right here, our second bottom right here happened below the 200 week moving average for the first time in history. And right now we're holding it as support. We do not want to lose that as we lose our momentum. It's very clear, it's inarguable that we're losing our momentum right now. The stochastic RSI had a cross on a weekly and we dropped below the, this 80 level. The developer of the stochastic RSI said that it's activated once we cross below. So it, it's literally what I'm stating right now is just facts. It's not my opinion we're losing momentum. This is a bona fide, unequivocal fact. We're losing our momentum right now, but we're okay. We've got this incredibly strong support that should hold us. If it does, this is an incredible sign for Bitcoin because if Bitcoin could hold support on this 200 week at the same time that we bottom out in the stochastic RSI and then we have a cross, if Bitcoin has this, this has this cross that we're scheduled to have every six months as we're holding support on this red line there's going to be fireworks mark my words those are not my opinions that's not what i hope is going to happen that's just based on bona fide facts okay so when we look at it, when we start to look at time frames, when's the earliest that this could happen? I would say the earliest is this type of move here. We did 77 days. So how many days from this top point to our cross? And that'll give us some sort of an idea of the earliest that this could happen. We're talking about 35 days. So 35 days from here. And if you draw it out, we're talking about the middle of May would be the earliest that we could have a cross up the middle of May. Now the middle of May also puts us at the early stages because our last one was at the end of November. And we're talking about the middle of May would be, let's look at it. Middle of May would be roughly 168 days. So we're right on schedule, right? So middle of May would be probably the earliest that this would happen. We're looking for a cross above the 20. Keep in mind, that's when the market sees its injection of momentum. And that's precisely what we need. Now, another cool point is here in the middle of our screen, right? We have our RSI in the middle of our screen, right? Now, again, RSI is overbought, oversold. If you have it up here in January of 2021, we are following this trend line for multiple years and we broke above here. We talked about it. This was a pressure cooker. We had incredibly strong bullish divergence forming at the bottom of the market. When everyone said that we were going to go down further, the high majority of the people said we were going to go down further. Bitcoin built its first bottom, second bottom with incredibly strong bullish divergence. Bullish divergence is price action going down. This is a low. We made a lower low over the span of a handful of months. And then we made a low and a higher low in the RSI and the stochastic RSI. That's bullish divergence. That's what took Bitcoin out of the bear into the bull. That's why Bitcoin is up over 100% in 2023 because of this bullish divergence that formed here. After the bullish divergence, this is what's really cool. We came up, we had a top here and a double top here that plummeted us down here, but we also had a double bottom. Our double bottom proved to be stronger than the double top. The double bottom was a reversal. We we swung up here in a major way. The, the RSI went from about 51 on the weekly up to 70 on the weekly. That's a huge momentum shift. And then guess what? What? We came right back down to our market structure in the RSI. Market structure is everywhere. In every indicator that you look at, in every price action, in every moving average, look at the market structure. Look left. All the answers are when you look left. So we're holding strong here. We need to continue to hold strong on this red as we flush out over the next handful of weeks in the stochastic RSI. That is the surprise move coming because everyone's gonna be on their heels and toes wondering, hey, when are these altcoins gonna explode? When is this gonna happen? Are we gonna plummet further? Are we gonna explode up? When, 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 when? When is when we have a stochastic RSI across from below the 20 above. Mark my words, that's when the market's going to move and it's gonna be on pins and needle until then, trying to hold this red line as support, trying to hold this structure as support as our, we flush out our momentum. And I'm gonna be here for it. I mean, this is, this is incredibly exciting. Now, I wanna to get to 
some some words from me. I just want to say that this is incredible to be able to come on here and give my knowledge about something I love so much. I love the charts. I have so much respect to the charts. And coming from where I came from, man, shout out to everybody who's from a small town. I'm from a real small town. We didn't even have a traffic light when I was growing up. Let me know in the comments if, if y'all didn't have a traffic light when you were growing up. We didn't even have a traffic light. We got one when I was a teenager, and everybody started talking about, ooh, we're going to have a lot. Uh, there's going to be a backup of traffic because we got a traffic light now But <laughs> when I was a teenager. But to come from where I came from, you know, my, my mom had me when she was 18. She had my sister when she was 16. They're, they both, my mom and dad dropped out of high school so they can take care of us, and we moved out into this little shack and... You know, we, we really struggled with money. We struggled with finances. And I think all of that is what molded me into today because there was nothing I was really interested in more than money and studying it nonstop when I was a kid. I understood that that was the difference between me and all the other kids at school. We were in a tough situation. I also understood that was the root of all, all, all of the stress in my family was all the bill collectors called nonstop. And I just said to myself, I need to really study money. I need to study successful people. I need to really understand what helped these people. And a lot of them that I studied grew up similar to me. And they became uber successful. And I just kept on it. So my advice to you, no matter where you came from, no matter your situation, you can do it. You've got to believe. You have to believe you could do it. Don't hope, don't wish, don't pray, don't fingers cross. You've got to truly, unequivocally believe that you are destined for greatness, that you are destined to pull yourself out of this rut that you're in, to get out of the rat race that you're in. If you truly believe it, you will do it. And for me, I've dedicated my life to helping people like you get yourself out of that situation and get onto the new path because I've been at all those levels. I've been at the people at the level where welfare, it, it, we're, we're on welfare when I was a kid. I, I know what that's like. I know what that struggle's like. I know what it's like not to have money to ever go on vacation. And when we ate out at Friendly's growing up, that was living the dream, if you all know what Friendly's is. So, man... I know what it's like to go from where you are to where I am, and I've devoted my life to helping as many humans do exactly that transition. It's why I have my courses, and now the FFA, Financial Freedom Academy, is on another level. Shout out to everybody who's in there, and that's our sole devoted dedication is to get people out of where they are now and onto a path of success, step-by-step step covered inside the FFA. So, man, I just want to thank you for your support, your continued support. Coming from where I came from to get to do something like this is a dream come true. And I'm focused on changing as many lives as I can. And I know that the FFA is going to change at least a million lives. So I can't wait. So shout out to everybody who is in the, our exclusive membership. I'll see you back here in the next video. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. And thank you for your continued support. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.